Look at that. It's made out of coins. Insane. Appreciate y'all for always being there, okay? When I walk out of here making money, how much are you gonna pay me for my Daytona? You guys are gonna be getting a little bit of a look into some free game at the office. I appreciate it if you come and do your jobs. My wear for the break. I didn't see you there. Welcome TPT gang. This week we had a ton of people come into the office. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and let's get into it guys. I think they can go on this, but I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. No, I'm wrong. It's an AP. What's up, Brody? How's it going, bro? How's everything? Good, 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 good brother. How's everything? How's everything, bro? Everything good. Back to watch here, and then um, nice. <clears throat> I had the which one? Though? I had the offshore, but the forty-four, the gold, the rose gold. Ah, oh, that man. shit was too heavy, bro. Yeah. And so you know, I was like, "Fuck it!" I, I traded for that one. I have a deal over there in um in Orlando, and then I, I kept, you know, we always talked about y'all coming to come check you guys out. And I seen y'all had the goats, and I was like. Wait a minute, I never seen one of them bitches before. Yeah. <laughs> them diff that's different right there. Especially, you know, once you go from rose gold or white gold to something like this, it's just it's different. easy to daily. Exactly, you know? that's what I want. Cause I got a, I got a couple rose golds and everything, but I want something I can wear like daily, sporty if I want. Exactly. Yeah. And this is a perfect piece for that. Oh, I already set it up and everything. Yeah, I set it up oh, for you. Yeah, I wanted to be like perfect and ready for you when oh, you got bro, here. Oh, that thing is. Can I see that GMT though, the brand? Yeah. Hey, I always wanted to see this in person, dog. You gotta see them. You gotta see them in person to really like yeah. admire it. That's the thing, you know. Like when you see it on the pictures, it just doesn't do it justice. And the guy, the guy who actually brought it to us was like, when he saw it, he had to pick it up. Went to the next AD, picked up another one too. He had to pick up two. That's how much he liked it. That's what I, I love the AP, like especially on the rubber. That's like an everyday boom, boom, boom. Yeah. It's crazy when you look at it and you're just like, wow, that must have some kind of. That's the thing about them. these watches. You gotta feel them. You gotta touch them, bro. Like to really, like really get the, the out of everything. That's what I tell everyone, especially with offshores, like the difference between like let's say 42 millimeter and 43, so 44, 44, like you really have to try, enjoy it, understand it, you yeah. know, come so test them out. Because like even that, that watch compared to like yours that you just got, huge difference, you know? Yeah. How much is this one going for? Uh, so today, that's the forged carbon? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, that's, uh, I thought it was the all ceramic. Um, the forged carbon today, you'd be looking at like 26.5 as a full set. Oh shit, can I see that? Shit is oh, but it's, it's much bigger than that one. Right? Yeah, it's bigger than that one. And it's a little bit older. Oh, it's a little bit older. Actually, a lot older. Right. Was it like the, the Ghost 1212? The Ghost is a much newer model. Yeah, um, yeah. This is what, like 2020? Uh, I think 2021, that one in particular. That probably we could do for 31. 31? Yeah. Oh, so it went up a little bit. I ain't gonna lie, this white, this white one is crazy. Yeah, the white one's hard too. Any one of them, you real. The white, black, or the, um... Man, I'm gonna do this white one. Yeah? Yeah. Definitely keep that white. How much is this one going for? Uh, we just picked it up, so Sean's gonna give a price on it. I, I can't pull that no, up. No, 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 no. Is that green? Is that green? That's green. green. Oh, okay. yeah. 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 That thing is. <laughs> yeah, the tech is like wow. This thing is like. Yeah. To get one of these, this is definitely like a like nice. You see how you just like no like business casual, boom boom boom. Yeah. I don't know, man. I, I feel like, you know, I, I thought it was something you always have to only put on when you're a little bit more dressed up. But then I've been seeing some guys that are just pulling it off, like, you know, some jeans, a t-shirt, sometimes in shorts as well. And it, it goes really well. Appreciate y'all for always being there, okay? Okay, so here we have a bracelet. I've honestly, I've never seen one of these before in person. So it's basically made out of US full gold coins. So they're, I believe, 22 karat. Um, 
Some of these are pre-1900, so there's like 1896, 1895, crazy stuff. Where'd you get it from? I bought it from my buddy Diego, great guy. Thank you, Diego, I appreciate it. It's beautiful, I love this. I would buy it myself, to be honest with you. This is so cool, bro. Look at that, it's made out of coins. Insane. These are, I believe, 18 karat, this, these like sides and stuff here, because these are added on. That's La Lady Liberty on the coin. Um, I'm a history buff myself, guys, so I find this very, very interesting. I love this. This is the Statue of Liberty. This is who this is based on. This is some 1800s. Fun, fun fact, guys. This is some 1800s yeah, drip. Yeah, this is from 1881. Some, some fucking, fucking 1800s insane. drip, bro. Because you, you pay a slight premium for the coins, but not like an insane premium, you know? Yeah. You have to buy it correctly. Um, but it's an insane piece, man. I love that. Something I've never seen. Yeah, I've never seen that either, right? Fucking coin bracelet? Bro, it's a coin bracelet. <laughs> it's literally made out of- How does it like even wear? This, like, so these guys, this used to be currency in the US. Which is insane. We used to actually use gold as our currency, which is awesome. I love it. I love history, guys. History is very, very cool. It's interesting to see how people do stuff like this with uh, historical coins, because you think, oh, this used to be money. Like this is like making a bracelet out of like dimes at the time. But now it's it's really cool, man. I love it. That's pretty cool, man. Bro, it's history. Some of these are pre-1900. Wow. He doesn't give a fuck. I care. <laughs> this is a chick's watch, though, now. Not necessarily. 36 I'm millimeters like can be gold bull. Pretty 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 pretty. Yeah. I don't like so I don't want to pay you guys 15K for the other one, so I got to figure out how to make this work. I've never sent a wire here, I don't plan on doing it now. So. <laughs> That's the old cell. They made it for, I think, three or four years. Oh no, this one. I thought they were the one. Oh, bro, this. Oh, but... This is way more than that, huh? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. don't even look. This. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I don't know what to do, Sean. Tell you me like you. this? No. Like old Diddy? No. All right, let's be real. You're not going to get an EP, so let's put this yeah. away. Yeah, I might. Because I know you don't like it. How much is this Daytona? Let's just do this. I know you don't like it. What do you like better on these two? I like silver a lot more, but the AP is actually hard. Dude, the AP is hard, bro. I think it's sick. All right, yeah, just keep... All right, so then I walk out of here making money. How much are you gonna pay me for my Daytona? <laughs> you know what? You came here just to trade the Daytona, bro. <laughs> You're sure? Yeah. Huh? You're sure? Yeah. I'm not gonna wear it sure. anymore, bro. What happened to the AK from Vegas? You guys don't take cash. The AK is fun. I think I've genuinely worn it four times since That's I bought it. it. Yeah. The worst roll in history. You guys gave me this. Did you get that? It's the worst roll in history. <laughs> gift from you guys. <laughs> These are fifteen hundred. Some are close. This one's kind of dope. Uh, that one's hard. Yeah. Okay, who's like who's giving us the prices on them? I got you. You have fifteen, right? Uh, I think it's thirteen. Fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> Quick fact check on that one, yeah. That was quick, man. That snake is boys, bro. Kind of dope, honestly. That honestly is hard. I'm gonna give you 8,500 after the 15,000 balance. It's 23,500 for this. So I'll give you. Can I give 27? Oh, oh fuck. It's worth 25. That's what it's worth to sell it. So what do you get worth for it? 23,500. This is 21. How much should I pay for it? 26. What do you want? You want me to sell you something that you're gonna make Just money? Give me 10 for it, bro. 10? I can't. I'm gonna. I'll lose money then. I already lost 46,000 on that dual time. I lost What's the Daytona, the, the one that you have. We lost $46,000 yes. on it. How, how long does it take to add a link? 30 seconds. Can someone add one real quick? Yeah, for sure. Uh, you want to check if we have links for it? You like it, Judd? I, I, I really do love this stack. Clean, but, bro. But, but I like How much is it? Which one is that? This is like 22, I think. Why, like 1200? No, he said 21. I, 1200. I lay like put them out in my head that I was like, okay, I made this for crushing the one that was tiny clips. This is the max I'll go, and this is over it. So, bro, just we'll give you that for seventeen hundred. There you go. Okay, do you have to take cash? Uh, we do take cash. Okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna get this. Yeah, it's clean, bro. It's a hard I think this is. Fire. Dude, I don't even wear a watch anymore. Right? I just it's wear awesome, some bro. You gotta start the stack somewhere, right? right? You're not just gonna wear one. Right. 
Yeah, but he's not gonna buy two. Okay. So just give him. I'm not saying to buy two. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not tempted him to buy but two. But he's saying to start. I'm saying though. you gotta start yeah. somewhere, right? right? You started with what? One bangle, then you got the watch and a couple our, bangles. Our intent. <laughs> right. We're not gonna talk about that right now. That's still yeah. one of the most legendary clips, I think, of all time. Yeah. That shit was actually legendary. Wait, what clip? When Steve gave oh, him the RM and then took it back, that shit was crazy. Bro, I was oh, there, yeah. bro. It's hilarious. But this is fire. It'll be close. Did you think it's fire? Do you have another one for like 17? That's super good. Cool. For sure, I can find some. This is like, fire. Can't, can't go, bro. You can thank Sidey too yeah. for uh, paving the way, right? Yeah, yeah, there you go. Oh, I have these two. Oh, yeah, those are, those oh, wait, are, those are big boys. Little Cuban, this is very similar. A little bit bigger. Yeah. Very similar. That's like the same one as Judd. Yeah, I kind of. I'm yeah. going to tell you about that one. I thought it was going to be the same price. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm giving costs. I, I can't, yeah, I can't I mean, go lower than that. That's how much you paid for it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Two carats, a little bit smaller. 1600 I'll take that one. I Try like, it on I like that one way better, too. Okay, take a. I like the circle. Take 500 off my balance and apply to that. And then we'll just, he'll just do it for a thousand. Are you serious? Yeah, yes, bro. Thanks, bro. Yeah, okay. I didn't get you a bank fee. Dude, don't worry about that. No, you don't owe me shit, dude. You don't owe me shit, bro. Dude, hey. I, it's all good. I do it yeah. all, bro. But you gotta do it for a thousand. Wait, hold on, I gotta. Because <laughs> 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 he owes me, me eight, and then he owes you one K. So. Yeah, I can't pay me fifteen hundred. It's like, how does he call it shots like that? I'll do it for fifteen hundred. So. Yeah, no, I said take five hundred off my balance, so he owes you a thousand. That's fine. You owe eight thousand. Okay. Neil said you guys were gonna give me a, a TPT pennant. Did he tell you that or no? Um, that I did not hear about, but <laughs> I know when we just ordered a bunch of them. What do those sell for? It depends on which one you get, but you're going to give probably the $8,000 one, the middle one. Nice. He's happy. If you were to buy that though, like, Rachel, like the one that Neil's worth, you were to buy that, probably like $25,000, $30,000 if you were to buy it. Peace, bro. Thank you guys right, so much for everything. Thanks for business. I'll see you guys soon. Today we're gonna to get a little bit of an inside segment. This is something that we normally do not do here at the office, but you guys are gonna be getting a little bit of a look into some free game at the office and how I'm explaining sales and some ideas and developing relationships with customers to the team. You're gonna be getting to see some new faces and at the end, I'll give you guys a little synopsis and summary of everything and hopefully be able to provide some interesting information out there for everyone that's been looking for it. So let's dive right into it. Quick cut into the scene, you guys can see it live. Selling is a dance, it's an art. It's not just straightforward point and shoot. This is not Walmart, you're buying mac and cheese. This is selling a very high end luxury good. You have to make sure that they're feeling good, you're feeling good, everything in the situation is good. The quality of your relationship with your customer to us is incredibly vital and important. And that's what I wanted to explain to everyone at the office. So there's a clip you guys, I'm sure just saw me talking about like, hey guys, we're not selling mac and cheese from Walmart, you know, no offense to Walmart, but um, we're selling high end luxury goods and developing that relationship with the customer, making sure that they feel very comfortable, um, you know, sending us money, doing a deal with us, um, sending us a trade in the mail, getting a good price, feeling confident in our convictions. That's very important to us, right? Um, and that's something that has to be very genuine. And as you develop uh, the relationship with a customer over time, they will continue to grow closer and closer and closer to you. And that friendship will form. So that's how you do it. But if you want, what we can do is when you find a point in a conversation that's difficult, right? Bring it to me and I will show you how to navigate through that specific situation. And then you learn for next time. And it, you don't have to be like super sophisticated with it and like know how to get out of every situation, but there is ways to approach situations and how to not approach them, which will hurt or help you a lot. So definitely take that into consideration. But another thing is like, the more you know the customer, even if they do get quoted somewhere else or they wanna buy from someone else, or maybe they're not local to us and they just feel more comfortable buying in LA, it's good to still know them. It's still good to know them. They might have to sell something, they might, need help, they might travel, you know, it's good to know everything about them. The more you know, the more that they'll come in and they'll love you. They will want to spend time with you, be friends with you. And that's how you have a long-term relationship with customer. That's why my customers, they, they're here for years. Five years, you'll see them buying multiple times a year. 
nonstop because they have a relationship with me. They feel good with me. I know everything about them, you know? So take that into consideration. My goal with my customers is to find the people that I mesh with um, and have that unison with, and I'm able to explore, you know, the relationship to every to every degree, right? Whether that's me helping them out when they come down to Miami if they need a reservation or they want to get picked up or they need advice, or having that relationship be close enough where they're shopping in Europe and you know they can say, hey Sean, I'm at the Rolex authorized dealer. I'm getting offered a John Mayer. Should I buy it or not? And they can feel comfortable in my convictions to you know swipe their card and leave with that John Mayer and know that I gave them true and really good advice in order to buy it. Uh, by the way, I don't think anyone's passing on a John Mayer, but you get my point of the uh, sort of discussion there. So as I continue to evolve and as our team continues to evolve, I really tell everyone to really focus on that quality of the relationship, making sure that you're responding in a timely manner, allocating correct time to all the different customers and really spending time with customers that might need a little bit extra assistance or may just be super quick. Our goal is to give them the best piece at the best price, right? We have to make money. But well, we also know the market. We're not dying to sell them one watch. You know, we want to build a relationship with them. So we can't let them strangle us, but we have to be willing to dance, you know, to do business with them. So when they ask you in that situation, you have to follow up with them and say something along the lines of, like, let's say you say 64,500, they're like, whoa, that's ridiculous. And then you say, oh, did you happen to receive some other quotes? Like, do we come in a little bit too high? And they'll say something like, no, I haven't received any other quotes, but I saw it on Corona 24 for 28K. And you can just, then you explain to them, hey, hey, just so you know, Corona 24 necessarily isn't the best indication of the market value. This watch has been trading in the mid 60s for quite some time. The retail on this watch is 58,800. I don't believe 28,000 is a reasonable price. However, if you do have one for 28,000, I suggest you, I strongly suggest that you purchase it. You know, it's all about every conversation you're picking up information and you have to be like a computer. Like as, it, as they're giving you information, you need to be cognizant of what they're saying, you know? And it's little things, like it could be anything. Customers sometimes will say like, hey man, I'm looking for a Batman for my wife's birthday. And you just say, okay, no problem. I'll be happy to get you a quote for a Batman. You come over, you ask me for a price. I give you the quote on the Batman. You call the guy back. Hey bro, I found you the perfect option. It might be the perfect option. I have a Batman Jubilee. I'm giving it to you for $15,000. Oh, but my wife's, my wife's birthday is tomorrow. And you just, once again, you didn't have the information, so you wasted your own time. You wasted the customer's time. It doesn't make sense, you know? In that situation, if you had known the wife's birthday is tomorrow, we would have looked for one in Miami. If we didn't have it, it might cost more, so we have to adjust the quote. So now you're backtracking. You told them 15. Oh, well, bro, if you need it tomorrow, it's gonna be 16.5. What, what do you mean I, it's gonna be 16.5? Yeah, bro, because I have to buy one here and it's gonna cost more and we have to make money, then you look bad, then we're not making a sale. I would say that selling watches, if you had to pinpoint it to one thing, um, I would compare it in a way to the experience uh, of like, let's say a high roller going to a casino, right? So a high roller goes to a casino, maybe he likes just beer and peanuts, so you're not gonna offer him wine. Maybe he likes to play Baccarat. Maybe he likes to play slots. Maybe he likes a room with a view. Maybe he doesn't want a window at all. You know, all those little, all that little bit of information that the casino gathers about the customer allows for the experience to be better for the customer in general. And your relationship will be better in general because when the customer is happy and you're happy, that's when great things happen. But some relationships really require nurturing. And to be honest with you, they deserve nurturing, right? You know, the customers that are continuously coming back and buying, that's what built our business. That's why we are here today. Um, and that's why we're so grateful and thankful for all the customers out there that do come back to us for every single end of the year, you know, tax season or the holidays or every single birthday they're thinking about us. If you guys need help like navigating, I'm happy to do one like live, like start to finish. I guarantee I'll close, 100% I'll close. Give me an inquiry, I guarantee you, just by looking through the DM, I can just pick one out and be like, that one that guy will buy. Based on how he writes, what he says, like that's all stuff that you learn over time, of course. But you know, you've seen this probably firsthand. Of course. You know, you get on the phone with the guy, hey bro, I have 15 RMs. Here's a picture, boom, 15 RMs. Serious buy, not playing around. Getting quoted by multiple people. He already bought 15 RMs. That little bit of information is so important to you. Hey, I have no watches. Probably first time watch experience, you know? He's got no watch, he doesn't know. 
You're gonna have to explain everything to him. Authorized dealer, gray market. He's gonna to wanna to know if it has the white tag. He's gonna loop the white tag, you know? Like he's gonna, there's a scratch on my green tag. You have to know that up front. He's never bought a watch. This watch cannot have even a mark on the box because you're gonna be getting a phone call. Hey, what's up with the box? It has a scratch on it, you know? Which a seasoned customer that we know might not even want the box. He might leave it here. I have customers that leave their box papers here and they don't even check. I have customers that leave their watch here for a year and they don't even check, you know? You have to know everything about these stuff customers. It's not always the case, but it is, uh, you know, often the case. I would say it's the uh, the rule, not the exception. The fifty thousand dollar customer is like, okay, cool, wire sent, and then the five hundred dollar customer needs a breakdown of everything. So, a lot of people neglect the five hundred dollar customer, right? Thinking that, oh my gosh, this guy, he has so many questions, or you know, uh, I I don't know how to answer this. Spending time with him and understanding why he's answering those questions. Like I said in the clip, is it his first time buying a watch? Um, all these little things are very important to understand your customer and how to get him the best experience. Back to business, go do your thing, but please try to get to know the customers a lot more. You know? Really, really, really get to know them. Open the doors with them. All right guys, so you just watched that clip. Um, I wanted to dive into things a little bit deeper and just go over a few topics. Um, so all the time people reach out to me, they're like, hey Sean, like, are you guys gonna do a course? Are you going to, you know, give us some free game? Are you going to show us how to sell or give me some tips and tricks? Um, and I kind of give everyone the same general advice every single time. It is hard for me to give like very in-depth advice. I feel like that's slightly proprietary to each individual person and how they do things. Um, but to elaborate with me on how I do things and how I try to convey that to the team so that they can do things similar to me because I have found that it works quite well. My biggest takeaway um, from sales in general and uh, you know expanding a business is to form those true concrete relationships with customers. Make sure that you guys fully understand each other and that's when the magic will really happen. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you uh, liked the free game. If you'd like some more free game into the future, maybe I can break down a little bit more. Can't give away all my secrets. Um, and no guys, like I said in the beginning, there will not be like any courses or anything like that. Like that's definitely not what where or I am going to do. Um, but I would love to help you guys and explain to you where we're coming from sometimes. So let me know what you guys think down below and if you like the free game and some insight to the office. Thank you for watching this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. By the way, I'm Sanjay, one of the newest members on the team. Can't wait to help you guys out with any of your watches or jewelry inquiries. Hit us up in the DMs on Instagram and uh, we'll see you next week. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.